In this classic novel of the 1960s, Ken Kesey's hero is Randall Patrick McMurphy, a boisterous, brawling, fun-loving rebel who swaggers into the world of a mental hospital and takes over. A lusty, life-affirming fighter, McMurphy rallies the other patients around him by challenging the dictatorship of Nurse Ratchet. He promotes gambling in the ward, smuggles in wine and women, and openly defies the rules at every turn. But this defiance, which starts out as a sport, soon develops into a grim struggle, an all-out war between two relentless opponents, Nurse Ratchet, backed by the full power of authority, and McMurphy, who has only his own indomitable will. It, what happens when Nurse Ratchet uses her ultimate weapon against McMurphy provides the sh story's shocking climax. Everyone in favor of changing the television time to the afternoon, nod your head. I only count twenty, Mr. McMurphy. Twenty? Well, why not? Twenty is all of us there. Now hold on just a goddamn minute, lady. I'm afraid the vote is defeated. Hold on, just one goddamn minute! The 40 patients on the ward, Mr. McMurphy. 40 patients and only 20 voted. You must have a majority to change the ward policy. I'm afraid the vote's closed. Well, I'll be a son of a You mean to tell me that's how you're gonna pull it? Count the votes of those old the majority, birds over there too? Mr. McMurphy. It's in the ward constitution. And I suppose the way to change the damn constitution is with a majority vote, too. Sure, of all the I've ever seen, this by God takes the cake. I'm sorry, Mr. McMurphy, but you'll find it written in the policy if you'd care for me to. This is how you work this democratic b Hell's bells. You seem upset, Mr. McMurphy. Doesn't he seem upset, Doctor? I want you to note this. Don't give me that noise, lady. When a guy's getting screwed, he's got a right to holler, and we've been damn well screwed. Perhaps, doctor, in view of the patient's condition, we should bring this meeting to a close early to di Wait! Wait just a minute! Let me talk to some of those old guys. The vote is closed, Mr. McMurphy. Let me talk to him. What are you guys for crying out loud? This is where you get the upper hand. Don't you see that? We have to do this, or we're whipped. Don't a one of you plucks know what I'm talking about enough to give us a hand? You, Gabriel? George? No? You, Chief? What about you? Chief, you're our last bet. The Chief's vote makes it 21, and by God, if that ain't a majority, I'll eat my hat. Yippee! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey guys! Come on! Come on, you guys! Come on! Check this out! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Check it out! Check it out! Check out the game! Ah! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? I think this kid's gone crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Billy fainted from excitement! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I really wish something could have been done, Mac. Somebody drain the pool! Cheswick's stuck at the bottom! Hurry up! Hurry up! We... We were... too late. He's dead. What is it? 
conduct. I know and test my head with the conducting. Do I get a crown of thorns? Get wild root cream oil in Charlotte, made with soothing lanolin. Nurse! Good Lord! Nurse! Boo! His throat! He opened the doctor's desk and found some instruments and cut his throat. The poor, miserable, misunderstood boy killed himself. He's there now, in the doctor's chair, with his throat cut. Charles Cheswick, and now we invent it. I hope you're finally satisfied. Playing with human lives, gambling with human lives, as if you thought yourself to be a god. Son, I am disappointed.